uh, my apologies. Um, I was totally under the impression we were starting at 10.30, so here I am just like looking back thinking, oh yeah, I got 20 minutes, and lo and behold, I'm already on island time, so <laughs> that's not good. Um, thank you again. First of all, thank you so much for having us here this morning. Uh, we, I think we've come through a few times, and uh, we're always grateful for the trust uh, that you have as a church. Uh, with your leaders, elders, to have us come and uh, take over the church. That's a scary thing to do, especially when you don't know people coming. But we have a lot of friends here, family even. Uh, and so we're thankful for that. Uh, this last week, in fact, we were at Rock Solid uh, Refuge. And that was a great time. We had a really good time. And... Uh, uh, and I think the comment from some of the, the guys there, they were like, man, you guys are such a fun, fun group. And so we want to bring that fun here this morning. Uh, and I'm going to pray. And after I pray, then uh, we'll start right up. And I'll make sure we finish on time, even though we started late. So let me pray. Father, we thank you so much for this morning. We thank you that despite where, everywhere, uh, wherever we may come from, Lord, uh, the commonality that we can have as Christians is together like this on a Sunday morning. And even though we may be strangers right away, we become family because of our faith in you and our belief in you, Lord. And so we thank you for this morning. Holy Spirit, we invite you to come. Lead us, speak to us, Lord. And uh, we are thankful for another day, a day that hasn't been used yet, and we commit this morning into your hands. In your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. So we are, my name is Isi, uh, and I had the privilege to be leading this group right now, our discipleship training uh, group. And we are on the Youth with Mission, YOM, and uh, Island Breeze, where uh, Joshua and Janelle uh, were with us for 10 years. And so, um, yeah, this is uh, our, we are on our way back. We're all the way to Vancouver Island. And off Tofino, there's a little reserve called La Houset. We, were, we spent some time over there, great time. And some of us will get to share our stories a little bit, and hopefully you'll get to hear that. But uh, I'll invite you guys to stand up. And um, why don't you just, uh, I don't know, are we still like in COVID protocols? or No. Okay. Just uh, step over, high five somebody, shake their hands, maybe somebody you don't know, okay? So this song, uh, I don't know, for those of you who may be around when we came through, you'll, you'll be familiar with this. I'm going to invite some of our group to come up to help you with some action. So everybody put your hands forward. And everybody say with me, Bambalela. Oh, that was uh, a little bit weak. <laughs> okay, here we go. Bambalela. Yeah, there we go. Jesu Bambalela. All right, we did this at Rock Solid, and I told them they had to maybe move out of the pews a little bit. And not only did we get out of the pews, we started doing this song all over the kitchen and walked around and then back into the chapel. Fun times. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna take st four steps forward like this. And one, two, three, then back, two, three, and one, two, three, back, two, three, there. Here we go. Bambalela, 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 Bambalela. All right, check this out. Next section. Everybody put your right hand up in the air. And you're going to scoop down like this. Scoop and up and scoop. And up and down and up. Sorry, our group is a little bit challenged there with the rhythm. <laughs> it goes like this. Jesus, Bambalela, 
Bambalela, Jesu, Bambalela, Bambalela, Jesu, Bambalela, Bambalela, Jesu, Bambalela. All right, forward. Hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. Gotta hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. Gotta hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Jesus. Gotta hold on to Jesus. Hold on to Hey, hold on to Jesus. 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 One more time. Bambalela, 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 Bambalela. Scoop it up. Jesu Bambalela, Bambalela, Jesu Bambalela, Bambalela, Jesu Bambalela, Bambalela, Jesu Bambalela. Bambale. All right, check that out. This next song is There is no one, no one like Jesus. Amen. So it goes like this. First section goes There is no one, no one, no one. There is no one. I lost the melody. There is no one. Like Jesus, there is no one, there's no one like him. There is no one, there's no one like Jesus. No one. Okay, there you go. I walk, I walk, and then everywhere I search, I search. Everywhere I turn around, turn around. Everywhere there's no one. <laughs> I'm gonna get Helen to sing it. Here we go. Five, six. There is no one. I walk, I walk. I walk, I walk. Everywhere. Search, I search. Everywhere. Turn around now, everywhere. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one. There's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like Him. Oh, there's no one, there's no one like Jesus. There's no one, there's no one like I walk, I, I walk, I walk. Woo! Everywhere. Hey, I search, I search. Every oh na na turn around now everywhere there's no one there's no one I walk I walk I walk I walk everywhere I search I search every Lord and I turn around now everywhere there's no one there's no one like him there's no one there's no one there's no one like him Thank you. Amen. So somebody said amen. amen. <coughs> I know there's a little bit of uh, sickness going around again. Um, I, know, I know our group, we've, we've been stuck in a van for 13 hours at a time, 11 hours at a time. So there's bound to be just some stuff going around. But I um, just want to declare this song. Whatever sickness there may be, I pray that God will heal it this morning. I'm trading. I'm trading my sorrow. I'm trading my share. I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. My sickness. I'm trading my sickness, my pain, trading my. I'm laying for the joy of the Lord. Let's sing, yes, Lord. We sing, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord. Amen. 
I'm pressed but not a crush, persecuted, not abandoned, struck down but not destroyed, blessed beyond the curse, from his promise will endure, joy comes in my strength, though my sorrow. Though my sorrow may last for the night, joy comes in the morning. Cause I'm trading my, whoo, cause I'm trading my shade. Lord, I'm laying them down for the joy of the Lord. My sickness, cause I'm trading my sickness. My pain I'm laying them down For the joy of the Lord We sing yes Lord We sing yes Lord Yes Lord Yes yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes yes Lord Amen We sing yes we say yes Lord yes Lord yes yes Lord yes yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord yes yes Lord amen we say sing yes Lord yes Lord yes 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 Lord yes Lord yes Yes, Lord, we see. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, yes, Lord, Amen. Yeah, Lord, we see. So be it, Jesus. The splendor of the King. Clothed in majesty, let all the earth rejoice, all the earth rejoice. He wraps himself in light, darkness tries to hide, trembles at his voice. Trembles at his voice. How great is our God? Yes. See with me how great is our God. Now we sing how great. Yes, Lord. How great is our God. To age he stands, and time is in his hands, beginning and the end, beginning and the end. The God had three in one. Father, Spirit, Son, the Lion and the Lamb, the Lion and the Lamb, so great is our God, oh, sing with me, how oh, great is our God, and all we sing, how oh, great. How great is our God. We sing name. Name above all names. Cause you are worthy of our praise. My heart will sing how great. Is our God. Just the women sing name above all names. Name above all names. You are of our My heart. My heart will sing 
just to close your eyes for uh, just for three seconds um, I don't know for those of you that it has been to rock solid or maybe you just experienced this right in your backyard but when we were there for the couple days man we kept having these amazing sunrises different colors like it was one time it was orange and then another time it was like this deep red <laughs> I don't even know what to call it um, but it was just amazing for me that every morning I woke up, I was just in awe and, and most of us were like, wow, God. And in the Bible, it talks about the angels just circling this amazing creator. And I don't know what they're seeing. In my mind, maybe they're seeing a, a glimpse of like the sunrises and in turn, they're just like, wow holy holy is the lord oh man great is the lord so um we're gonna sing that one more time how great is our god and we just join with the angels as they sing holy we say god you are great somebody said amen amen okay let's sing how great Is our God sing me? Oh, you great Lord, and all the sea. Amen. Amen. You can take a seat. Um, we're going to do a song. Uh, yeah, we're going to do a few more songs, but I'm just going to quickly introduce our group, if that's uh, okay. Is, is that mic working, the one just down here? Okay. All right, so our group just come up, and uh, they're going to say where they're from. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll start with Helen over here. Hi, my name is Helen. I'm from Fiji, but now live in the island of Steinbeck. <laughs> hey, everybody. Um, my name is Salome, and I'm from Germany. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Grace, and I'm also from Fiji. Hi everybody, my name is Koro, I'm from Fiji. Uh, good morning everyone. Morning. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Hello, my name is Rawi and I'm from Solomon Islands. It's an uh, island country close to Australia, in case you didn't know. Okay. Hello everyone, um, my name is Jermaine, I'm the shortest one in the group. 
um, also from Solomon Islands, um, Island Breeze, and now I'm Island Freeze. <laughs> yeah, we live in the island of Stanback. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Jermaine. Jermaine is always talking and his uh, voice is shaking and he always says, no, I'm not nervous, I'm just cold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep Rowie over here because we're going to sing this song. You're going to know the chorus. You can join in. Uh, Rowie, we call him DJ Rowie. Uh, the, the boys loved it because he, he did a freestyle rap. And so we're going to get, get Rowie to rap. Over there, yeah. You can help us by clapping your hands. So if no, sing along with us until Rabbi comes in. Who breaks the power, sin and darkness, love is mighty, so much stronger, the king of glory, the king above all kings. Hey. Who shakes the holy Holy thunder leaves us breathless, awe and wonder, the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is, this is amazing grace, unfailing love, this is unfailing love, it's you too. You take my place. You bear my cross. You, you bear my cross. Hey, you lay down your life so I can be free. Then I will be set free. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, Jesus, I sing for all that you done for me. Yeah, DJ Raw, we come in true. Let me share my testimony here. Uh, as I look upon the cross, I can see your grace. Your love, goodness, kindness, grace, and mercy is all that I'm living for. Living for your glory, your glory alone. And I can see your love so big, so wide, deeper than the ocean, higher than the skies above. Yeah, I was messed up too in my past, but I can see your love bring me up from everything. You cleanse me, you bless my soul, you pick me up, you take me through all the songs. And I know you are part of the Red Sea for me too eh? And you'll do the same for everybody sitting in this room here today eh? Cause I'll be praising them And I'll be giving all the glory forever and ever, ever for you too Oh look, now we say, yeah, there we go, it's to take it over This is amazing grace DJ Rao, everybody This is unfailing love cross you bear my cross you lay down your life now we'll be set free stay sitting as we sing this song but if you want to stand up you can stand up in every season in every change you are dear. in every sorrow you are my strength you are storm, your voice I will follow. In weakness I rise, remembering you, oh, my world. And I'm holding on to hope, holding on to 
your grave is fully letting go I'm surrendered to your ways the anchor for my soul Father you will never change I love you I love you oh, My great redeemer My great redeemer My constant friend You are near you in the storm. Thank you for hope, Lord. Especially in these last two years when <laughs> everything seemed hopeless. Lord, Jesus, you were the thing that were constant, Lord. It was your hope, Lord, that we can lean on to, that we can put our faith, Lord. Bless you this morning. This is our worship. In your name we pray. Everybody said, Amen, Amen. So um, we have a, again, if you hadn't heard me in the beginning of the service, I just want to thank you again for letting us come and take the service. I'm going to stay up here, sort of MC and make sure that things keep running. Our group is going to come up. Uh, we have a few stories to, to say um, as they're making their way up and getting ready. Up here, group. <laughs> Um, just a little bit about the discipleship training program. Uh, it's a five, six months program that we run. 
uh, we start off in Steinbeck for 12 weeks and uh, we'll go through different topics, uh, cross-culture evangelism, uh, worship and intercession, hearing the voice of God, uh, the Father heart of God. And then this is the practicum part where we come and put it into practice. And so um, we have learned a few skits, dances, that when we go into communities, uh, we get to share this, uh, regardless of whether it's a church or whether it's in a school or whether it's in a house. Um, so this song is uh, My Jesus. It's a very old one. Uh, by Hill Songs, and um, if you speak sign language this morning, we apologize ahead of time. <laughs> we tried our best uh, to to learn this uh, in uh, in the sign language, American sign language. Just let me tune my guitar first. It's gonna bother me. Sorry. Do something funny, guys. <laughs> That was awkward, eh? <laughs> Here we go. My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. My comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. Sing with me if you know it. And shout to the Lord of the earth, let us sing. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas will roar at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. My Jesus, my shelter, no, there is none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. Oh, my comfort, my comfort, my shelter, tower of refuge and strength. Let every breath, all that I am, never cease to worship you. And shout to the Lord of the earth, let us sing. Dark and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas we roll at the sound of your name. I sing for joy at the work of your hands. 
Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I had. In shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us see. Power and majesty, praise to the King. Mountains bow down and the seas we roar at the sound of your name. And I sing for joy at the work of your hands. Forever I love you, forever I stand. Nothing compares to the promise I have. Nothing compares to the promise I nothing. Nothing compares to the promise I have in you. Thank you. Uh, give it up for Josh, because he just learned it yesterday afternoon. <laughs> uh, we're going to have Rao again. He's going to come and uh, share a little bit about himself and his story. Thank you. Okay, good morning, everyone. How are you this morning? Good, excellent. Okay, awesome. So yeah, just going. Uh, I'm going to just share a few stuff about myself. Uh, as you all know, my name is Rawi. I'm from Solomon Islands, and I'm here with uh, Island Breeze Wabang from Manitoba. So yeah, I'll start. So I was a. Uh, I was a. Uh, I was a I was a kid. Uh, totally, if I can add all my siblings from all of my different parents together, it's around eleven siblings that I have. Uh, yeah, so I was a kid that uh, brought up like in a broken family, in a broken home, and been through a lot in life. Addicted to alcohol and involved in a lot of unhealthy relationship, and my love my life was a mess completely um, growing up in the islands. And there was a point of my life that I um, almost commit suicide because I thought there's no one loved me, that no one heard me and kind of stuff. Uh, I just give up in life and uh, yeah, I lost hope kind of thing. And I remember at that point uh, I heard a voice speak to me you know, like in the midst of my you know low moments in life that he says, I have a plan for you. And <clears throat> I hold on to that um, some, um, small voice that's, that spoke to me uh, four years ago. And then uh, uh, I came to know that this um, phrase comes from the book of Jeremiah um, 29.11 that it speaks of you. Uh, it says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope in the future. And uh, after three years and a half, like four years now, I believe this is part of what he, like God spoke to me back there that I'm here. So like, that's kind of part of my story. And uh, just I want to talk about a, f a few things uh, that I've learned through the season of my life with God is the power of choice. Um, who you are now is because of the choice that you've made in the past years and months ago. And I believe if you invest in good choices, you will um, harvest good outcomes and good results in life. Yeah. And the thing I want to share is like by when we in the house at with the visiting and spending time with the First Nation there, uh, they are really such a good people and, you know, they've been through a lot. But I think when we were just being there with them and, you know, hear the stories and share with them and um, being around them, it's something that really lights up and enlightens them like joy. And for them to see people from all around the world coming to them, it's like God hear their prayers and kind of stuff. So 
it's really awesome um we we spent the time there and then uh just a couple of days ago at uh rock solid refuge um somewhere down here you guys know um yeah there's a uh, kids and you know young people that they've struggled with depression and anxiety and all this stuff but uh i think we've been there carrying the atmosphere of fun and joy it really um open up who they are and help them to see in a better way and we ourselves also being impacted um by their life as well too as they they share their stories uh yeah i think there's like this is a sort of thing that i want to share with you about my testimony and my life my story uh before i finish i just want to leave a few statement with you uh uh, all uh, that are here today first one is like i just want to say that you are valuable the second thing i want to say that you are enough and the third thing is god loves you so much that he cares for you that you 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 you, you are here today and with this last statement here uh, i wrote it down he said god's god's love god's love based on him not us simply simply means even though when we messed up at times what his love for us doesn't change it remains the same uh, i know there are time what we you know at the top of the hill everything working fine but there are time in life that things got us he hit us and we were like down there sometimes we you know come up with bad choices and stuff but i believe his love for you and i is a constant love and today we are still here and have the opportunity to come and worship him and, and, and listen to his word and listen to what god has done so I think that's my testimony. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time to listen. I pray and believe that uh, a lot that God will do in your life as a young person, as an elder, elderly person, God is still doing good things. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Rao. Um, yeah, a little bit about Rao. Uh, when I was listening to his story, he said, yeah, it's just... It's just been three years, only three years that he's come to know like this awesome relationship with Jesus. And he's just fully so impacted by it that he's passionate of, of this change. And I was just like, man, that's, I take it for granted how, you know, I've grown up in a, in a, in a church, grown up in a, with a Christian family. And you, you forget maybe some of you are sitting here this morning, I don't know, just, you know, very fresh relationship with Jesus so it's always nice to see this uh, excitement of this awesome relationship with Jesus so uh, our next number is we're gonna do for you a dance it comes from the islands of Fiji everybody say Mbula one more time Bula Bula Vinaka all right so Bula is the greeting word from the islands of Fiji and we're gonna share with you this dance and we're so grateful one more time that Josh is here. <laughs> He's a Fijian in Swift Current. Toya Tobiriana Kenamba Dabutu Naivalu Dabutu Naivalu Toya Tobiria Kenamba Toya Tobiriana Kenamba Da butuna i valu, da butuna i to viria ne kena mai. You can clap with us, everybody. Benda i ana na me kebe chioba. Chioba, 
Thank you. Uh, Josh came back to Steinbeck in October. And I, I don't know, like we got a very big Fijian community in Steinbeck. And I guess they forgot that Josh used to dance with us. And all the Fijians were like this. Like watching Josh do the, the, the Fijian dance. I remember a couple of years ago, uh, there was a Samoan kid that came and he goes, hey, bro. Which island in Samoa is uh, Josh is from? I was like, bro, he's a white Canadian man. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but we've always appreciated Josh because he, he just really carries uh, the DNA and embraces the culture. And he showcases it to the point that people from there believe that he's from, <laughs> from an island in the Pacific somewhere. Uh, so give it up one more time for Josh. And I'm going to invite Grace to come up. Uh, hi everyone, uh, today I'm going to share about the good thing that God has done in my life. Uh, I grew up in a Christian family and gave, I gave my life to God when I was 12 years old. Uh, most of the time when I go through hard times, I just rely on my parents. I didn't rely on God. I came here since October last year. First thing that really hard for me is leaving my parents behind because I know every time when I need something, my parents also be always there to support me. So when I came to Canada, sometimes life is hard. And sometimes when I need anything, I don't know where to get it from. But there is someone who always there for me, and that is God. I never forget what my parents always remember. That someone is always, always there for you, and there is God. And always trust him. So I am proud to say God has answered my prayer most of the time. Whenever I go through hard times or sometimes I struggle for something, but I always trust God in everything I do, and he provides things for me. So I want to encourage each and everyone who are here today. Maybe you're going through hard times or struggling at school or maybe going or facing problems at home. Please, I want to say keep trusting God and, and never keep trusting God. It's never too late to trust him. He always there for you, and he will provide everything for you. I know sometimes following Jesus is not that easy. But remember, don't you ever lose your faith in God, because God never loses his faith in you. Thank you. Thank you, Grace. Um, and when we're in a house that in, uh, even when we came to Rock Solid uh, Refuge, we got to introduce ourselves. And I would say that we're from Fiji, we're from Germany, Solomon Islands. And uh, one of the things that I just encouraged uh, the boys with was, uh, I said, you know, whatever it was that you cried about or prayed about, God has heard it, that he has brought people all the way from Germany, 
all the way from Fiji, all the way from the Solomon Islands, just to tell you that God loves you and that you're choosing the right path right here. And if anything, we're just here to encourage the message that all the stuff that are pouring into you. And I think that's just something really powerful, right? To, 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 to tell somebody here that you've come across from across the world just to say that. And as you can see, you know, the struggles, it's, it's worth it being away from family and those kind of things just to hear how people embrace you. So um, we're going to paddle our canoes to Hawaii. Who's been to Hawaii? Nice. Who wants to go to Hawaii? There we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, slowly when we were coming back from Vancouver Island, it was like, okay, it's getting real now, guys. Coming through the mountains and it was just like the temperatures just keep going down, down, down. And we were like, where's the plus 15? It got very fast to minus five, minus six. So uh, we're going to share with you Aloha from the islands of Hawaii. Aloha means a lot of things. Our dancers are going to make their way up. Oh, maybe not yet. Aloha means a lot of things. Hello, goodbye, I love you, and so much more. And so our dancers are going to come and share Aloha with you. Hey! And again, Josh and Janelle! <laughs> Aloha is a word that has so many meanings like say hello and goodbye It means how are you and I wish you so Hope you're feeling alright But most of all it's the feeling within there will make you feel so good inside Because aloha means without my love Oh my love you can, to, you can clap your hands with me you gotta feel aloha, yeah. Aloha brings us all together. Say aloha if you're looking for fun and pleasure. Share aloha, reach out and let a helping hand. You gotta feel aloha, aloha. It's the heartbeat of this land. Now you can never Aloha just open up your heart Share with a great big smile Making someone happy each and every day Takes but a little while You can have the feeling that comes from with you Make you feel so good inside Because Aloha means without my love Oh my love to you Woo! You gotta feel aloha Aloha brings us all together Say aloha If you're looking for fun and pleasure Share aloha Reach out and let a helping hand because you feel aloha, aloha It's the heartbeat of this land You gotta feel it, aloha Feel aloha, the heartbeat of this Everybody feel it, aloha Ladies and gentlemen, from us to you all, we bid you aloha Everybody give it up one more time. <laughs> Woo. Hi everybody. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 says, For it is by the grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourself. It is the gift of God, not by work. There is no man can boast. That no one can boast. I was born and raised in a Christian family. Um, I didn't know God very well, but I think and praise him, praise him, praise God for all that he has done for me and my family. 
I could not take the, for granted the, gra the great love of God has since upon my life over the, 18, over, pa of the, over the past 18 years. I did not even dream to being here today, but I'm so thankful that God has chosen me to come to Canada and to visit the different place in Canada and to share with you today there is nothing is impossible from God and sees how great God is in my life. My life was messed up till this year and when I came to do to start my journey in August which is called the Disciples Disciples Ship Training School and start journey my life with God, I can see the difference and the big change in my life. So let me let me tell you that God is sitting beside God is sitting with you right now. And and you should know that you are in God's heart. Uh, and I'm so blessed beyond the word of the word can explain express of how God works in and through my life. His word has never been the, has been the source of my strength, courage, and comfort in my times of hardship, trials, and temptation. It is not easy, but my God is the God of, mount, of mountain, and he is still God in the valley. There was a time when God took me up on the mountain top and down to the valley of darkness. Despite the, pr the place he took me, and I can feel his presence around me and over me. Uh, looking back at how far God has brought me, it brought me tears to know that God, that, to know that only God can do what the man can do. Both of my parents has been our source, has been my source of our peace and comfort. Growing up in a family of eight siblings, it's really hard, but yeah, I have a lot of siblings. <laughs> and I'm the second old, oldest in my family. It was a challenge and experience to see the great sacrifice that my parents did for us. It has motivated me to be responsible and hard work girl so that I can support my family. So I just want to challenge each and everyone who's sitting here this morning that you, have, that you have a good parents and God loves you. God loves you so much and he cares for you. No matter what, he's there for you. And he, and he always there to listen for your prayers and to answer your prayers every day. Yeah. He knows your plans to the future. He's always there for you to keep you and love you and protect you from all the different things or the difficulties things that you're going through in every di in different situation god will multiply you and in anything you want in your life i just want to add my my story with the two bible verse one is john, john 15 16 it says says you did not choose, choose choose me but i chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit fruit that will last then Father will give you whatever you ask in his name. And the second one is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you. Declare the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and future. Thank you so much. Thank you, Koro. Um, Koro is only 19 years old. And uh, all these three girls, these three Fijian girls, they, um, they played rugby this year. They're all rugby players. Uh, and it's so nice to, I was thinking of Cora, how she's just quiet, but on the rugby field, oh boy. My daughter, who's 13, played a game with them and just looked at Cora and was like, Cora, you hit one person, but you killed two. <laughs> it's like... She went for a hit and all you see was these two people fell at the same time. <laughs> it's like, yeah, so. All right, we have a skit here for you and I'll just let them start it right off. Hey, I'm not a 
as I'd rather be if I was brought up on the stage. A policewoman I will be. And as I walk along, long, sing this little song. song. Stop, come back, get back to the payment. Stop, come back, get back to the payment. If I was not up on the stage, who else would I rather be? If I was not up on the stage, the bodybuilder I would be. And as I walk along, long, sing my favorite song. song. We go one and two and down and up. One and two and down and up. Stop, one and come two back, and get down back to and the up. Stop, and come back, and get back to the payment. If I was not up on the stage, I'd rather be. If I was not up on the stage, a painter I would be. And as I walk along, sing my favorite song. song. I take my brush and dip it in and splash it on the wall. I take my brush and dip it in and splash it on the wall. I take One my brush and dip it in and splash it on the wall. I take One my brush and dip it in and splash it on the wall. Up. Stop, come back, and get back to the payment. Stop, come back, and get back to the payment. If I was not up on the stage, so what's I'd rather be? If I was not up on the stage, you know that I would be. And as I walk along, along, this little song, song, two by four and into the wall, two by four and into the wall. I take my brush and four and on the wall. I take my brush and throw it and then splash it on the wall. I take my brush and throw it and then splash it on the wall. I take my brush and throw it and then splash it on the wall. Stop, come back, get back to the bim. Stop, come back, get back to the bim. If I was not upon the stage, so what's I'd rather be? If I was not upon the stage, Thank you everybody for enduring that uh, skit. <laughs> um, just a little about the skit we did. Um, as you can see in the last part, when we all wanted to be the painter, it didn't really work out, right? <laughs> but when we were 
different things, uh, everything gelled together. It was just like a puzzle coming together, every piece coming together. And um, when we were in the in a house, it uh, one of the YWAMers there who lived there, who lives there now, uh, Maya. He's also a Fijian guy. He's he encouraged. The only thing he told us, just be yourself. Um, you don't have to be anybody else when you're here in this community. And you know that really opened doors for us when we just continued to be ourselves there. So the significance of the skit is just be who you are. God. Uh, has a plan for you and that uh, don't deviate away from that original plan if you want to be uh, he he's made you just the way you are you are beautiful you don't have to be like anybody else so that's our encouragement for you today and uh, yeah thank you <laughs> Hello, Jack thank you thank you Helen um, if you have your Bible with you this morning um, I would invite you to um, turn with me to Acts chapter 17, Acts chapter 17, and as you are getting there, um, I don't know about you, but if you look at the news and if you, you know, social media, sometimes it, it feels very hopeless, and you wonder, like, as far as people of faith, and for me, my own personal encouragement is we get to do this quite a few times of the year where I get to see young people um, come and be a part of this program and they get to share Jesus. And I was like, because always I, when I look around the room and I see a lot of people with uh, white hair in the islands of Hawaii, we, call, we would call you our kupuna, our elders. And I always recognize that if it wasn't for your prayers, you know, your blood, your sweat, your tears, this generation wouldn't be standing where we are at to experience all the freedom that we have in Canada. So I thank you for that. And so I'm always wondering that the next generation, how do we carry on the mantle, right? By looking around these youth, young people here, and uh, our young people here, I can say this because I'm, I'm 41 this year, and uh, I keep telling people that I've been married 17 years and I have two girls, 13 and 9. They're like, what? We thought you were uh, younger than that. Anyways. <coughs> um, so, yeah, so if you are at, um, all that to say is that I think God is amazing, right? That he's faithful. Even in the Bible, I tell God, I was like, God, I struggle with the Bible, like, there's passages in the Bible that it really bothers me. And my only conclusion in that is that, God, despite all of that, your love still comes through. I don't know how you did it, you know, but your love still comes through. And if anything, God is always faithful in that way, right? And so if you're Acts 17, verse 26, and on the count of three, we're going to all read it out loud, okay? I know we might have different translations. Verse 26, one, two, three. From one man he made all the nations that they should inhabit the whole earth and he marked out the appointed times in history and the boundaries of their lands. We keep reading verse 27. God did this so that they would seek him and perhaps reach out for him, find him though he is not far from one, any one of us. Um, this has been one of the key founding scriptures for us as an organization. It's this idea that God's glory is too big to be contained in one culture. Do you believe that? No. <laughs> God's glory is, is yeah, it's, it's so big. It cannot be contained in one culture. His glory is so big that it can never be contained in one denomination. In fact, I think we only have one piece of who God is. And I think a lot of the times, um, churches in the past, we've, we've believed that we're supposed to carry the fullness of God's glory. And I think, for me personally, you can test what I'm saying here. I, I, I tell people, if that's the case, I think God then should have just made all coconut trees. <laughs> right? If, if that's the, his idea of unity, then everything should just be coconut trees. I think it would be very, very boring. The fact that if you look at around and you know nobody looks like you unless you're a twin 
identical twin. I mean, God has, has determined that. My personal story was, I went, at one point I didn't want to be a Fijian anymore. And then God just asked me, if I, God, chose for you to be a Fijian, shouldn't that be important to you as it was for me? I was just like, oh man. I was like trying to crush an identity. Because I thought, I understood coming to Christ, embracing Christ, and that is going to be my identity. But I think the fact that you are created the way you are, that was not a mistake. German, Solomon Islands, I don't know, you, what am I saying, Paraguay, uh, wherever you're from, wherever your roots are from, I think it's very important. And, and for this verse here, that God had determined exactly our boundaries so that we might find him here. Um, so in the past, I know we're, we're, we will be considered missionaries. And I think in the past, and it wasn't their fault, but I think the passion and everything, we, we thought that we could bring God to different people groups. But we didn't understood that God was already there. You know, God was already existing in those, in those people groups. In fact, they had... The question that I ask, if, if God chose your people to represent his story in the Bible, what would those stories be, right? Because this is the stories of the Jewish nation, Israel, that God did amazing things through it. And so when we were in our house, it, uh, we came across a story by Grandpa Dave. Grandpa Dave, uh, no, actually uh, it was Junior. And, and the story was, that the people were hungry, the community were hungry, and then the whale went up to who they think to be like creator, Thunderbird, and said, hey, I will give myself up for the people so they can be hungry no more. So this is, I don't know about you, but I was like, wait a minute, let's press pause on this. Because this sounds very familiar to like a story in the Bible. I mean, it's not maybe the, the right characters, but I was just like, whoa, what, you have that? Um, same story I heard from the community was they said the people had gotten sick at one time. And then out of the ocean came up a snake. And when they looked at the snake, they were healed. And again, I was like, hold the phone. I've... <laughs> I've read a story like this in the Bible, and it's when, like, I don't know if you, I'm going to do a quick uh, thing. There's a story in the Bible where the Israelites, they were getting bitten by snakes. And then God told Moses, take that snake and, you know, make it, put it in front of them. So it became like a kind of a statue. And tell the people when they look at the, the statue, the bronze snake, that they will be healed. And so the Israelites were healed. But then, of course, we humans being humans, <laughs> the Israelites started worshiping the serpent instead of the one who was behind this whole thing, right? And so, um, so there's all these stories um, in different cultures that are faith stories, that are salvation stories, that all they're, look what they're looking for is the missing component of bridging that to the creator story then saying like, hey, guess what? There is a story. Because this is a funny thing. If I told you of a story from Fiji, um, back, way back in the day, the people wanted to cross over to Samoa, which is a three hour flight, but then they couldn't. And so this guy that was leading the people from Fiji had a stick he tapped the ocean and the ocean like parted in two. And the people of Fiji walked right th through these people and they made it to Samoa. See, that would be a myth and a legend, right? But if you ended up being in the, in the Bible, that's truth. And so <laughs> Moses did this with the people of Israel, right? He had a stick, he tapped the waters, it parted, and we read it without ever thinking anything to it, but it's in the Bible. It's gotta be truth. Like it's got to be the word of God. So this verse I love because it says that God has already existed there. Like he had determined our exact boundaries. And in that we may find, find him. I think that's a beautiful picture. In fact, that's a beautiful picture of just us going in and listening. Listening with our hearts 
and saying, hey, where is, where is God? Like, where is God's fingerprints in, in, in your community? Um, I have three minutes. Uh, and uh, there is a Grandpa Dave, who is from a house that talked about this, uh, this ceremony that they have in, in a house. And the ceremony is, uh, I was trying to figure out when they do it. I think it goes with the moon, dif depends on different families. But they go and, and they go into the water, the cold <laughs> North Pacific Ocean. And they stand there with no clothing and they do their prayers. And they pray and seek creator and they would like, you know, wash off all the negativity. And they would do this sometimes a week as they fasted. So Grandpa Dave, who was sat down with our group, told this story. And as he told the story, he said, you know, he was feeling good because before going, he was like angry, he had something, and you know, he was able to let go and just let the wash, water wash and the prayers. So when he came back home, his dad was ready with a cup of tea and some toast, and dad was like, hey Dave, hey son, come on. how was it, it was good? He was like, oh yeah, I feel so good, like I feel alive, I feel refreshed. In fact, you know what dad, I think it's even like better than praying in church. And then his dad pulled the toast away, pulled the coffee away, and he said, son, you have not learned about humility. You go back and pray because you never point at somebody else on how they pray or how they do it. <laughs> I was like, that was a lesson for humility for me to learn. Like, like straight there, it's already there. It's already there in their culture, in the structure of how they know things. So Dave went back. <laughs> he went back and did the prayer. And his dad wouldn't let him come back until he, was, he recognized what humility was. Um, for me, I'm, I'm passionate about this. I'm passionate about finding out who I am. And if, you know, if you're ever questioning about that, I encourage you to do it. I remember Janelle uh, a couple of years ago when we met. And when I was sharing about me, and then she was like, man, I want to know who I am as the First Nations and as a Inuvik. Yeah, and then I said, I don't know, but <laughs> we can journey together. We'll discover it. And that was a beautiful couple of years. Man, it's crazy. It came so fast. And looking at Janelle now, just how she's embraced her identity on who God created her to be, I think that's something powerful. And so I just want to say thank you again so much. I want to bless you guys. Thank you for opening your church, opening your hearts. Um, if we have offended anybody at, <laughs> at all in any ways, we apologize and we just say, the Bible says, test out everything, right? Test it out in the spirit. And my prayer is just that if this is something that you're like, wow, that's, that's really good. And so I pray that you hold on to it. I pray Holy Spirit will nurture it in your heart and I pray that Holy Spirit will grow it. Let me pray for, for us. And so Father, we thank you so much for this morning. Lord, we thank you, uh, yeah, for the lessons that we've learned in the last two years. The importance of just community, faith, and your church, Lord. Your church that continues to function and operate uh, despite world and everything trying to shut it down, Lord. I thank you for your church that continues to go out and step out to show your love, Lord. I pray, Father, as we've heard different stories this morning, I pray that, yeah, that uh, everybody here will be, just be encouraged in their walk, wherever they're at right now in their journey with you, Lord. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you'll just come and meet each individually, one of us, Lord. And may we look outside of our own needs. May we look at communities like Rock Solid or other communities, other people, Lord, that are in need of just a touch. Or if it's... <laughs> If it's just saying good morning, have a good day. If that's, it, if that's what you want us to do, Lord, I pray that we will be discerning, we'll open our eyes, open our ears to you, and just see how we can bless the community around us, how we can love our neighbors, how we can continue to love you, Lord. And so we bless you, we give you all the praise, the glory, the power. Bless this 
Bless this church mightily, Lord. We pray this in your name, Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Thank you. Do I give this to somebody? Oh, yeah, we can do a song. All is ready for a song, okay? <laughs> you, you can stand with us. This may be a, a new song to a lot of you. It's uh, from a group in Hawaii. We've been singing this song for the last two years because <laughs> as you've heard already, me saying it and also just praying it, this is such a powerful statement that hope is alive. in Christ And I will fix my eyes, Lord Not on what I see, no Only look to you for hope Cause I can feel your mighty winds rushing I can feel your sweet presence let it change me, know the way me, now receive my victory. Hope is alive, whoa, whoa, whoa. hope is alive, whoa, whoa, whoa. your grace abounds immeasurably. Your mercy sun and I fit to move the mountains. So we cry, hope is alive. When the storms of life are raging all around, I know to put my trust in Christ, in Christ. And I will fix my eyes, Lord, not on what I see, no, only look to you for hope. Cause I can feel your mighty winds rushing, and I can feel your sweet presence, let it change me, no. Receive my victory. Hope is alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hope is alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your grace abounds immeasurably. Your mercy, sun, and I fit to move the mountains. So we cry, hope is alive. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest name, but only lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Hope is alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hope is alive. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
your grace abounds, your measure be your, your mercy, mercy on Sunday night. night. Fit to move, move the mountains, so we cry, hope is alive. Oh, hope is alive. Hope is alive. Amen.